If you've ever tried to stream with a poor internet connection, it can be incredibly frustrating. We're going to show you how to strengthen your signal so you can focus on making great content and not worry about losing your video stream. We're going to cover the topic of bonding, which is the process of aggregating Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and cellular data to get you the most reliable video stream possible. In order to achieve bonding, we need to use very specific software, either Teradek Core or ShareLink. Today we're going to be using Core. If you're not familiar with the setup process for Core, we've included a link to one of our previous videos that outlines all the necessary steps. The important thing to note is that if you're utilizing bonding, you need to use one of our cloud-based services. Okay, let's get started. So if you take a look at your VideoGo device, you'll notice that on either side, there are USB ports. This is where we're going to attach cellular modems. We've got two different kinds. This first one here is the Teradek node. So it has two high gain antennas. And then if you turn around here, you'll see that there's a slot for a SIM card. This is what enables us to use cellular data. Something important to note is you can't just pull your SIM card from your cell phone. You have to get a data plan SIM card for this process to work. Also, it's advisable that you get your SIM cards from multiple carriers. That way, if a network becomes congested or you're not close to a tower, you have a second network to rely on. We'll put our SIM card back in and then attach our node to the side of the video go by way of these little thumb wheels on either side. We'll tighten down the second one and once it's firmly secure, we will turn it to the other side. So this is where we'll be attaching our third party cellular modem. You can get these from all the major carriers and they contain a SIM card as well. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the stats and this will take a second to populate and there we go. So we can see that our Wi-Fi, our USB 2 and our USB 1 are aggregating here to create a really consistent signal and increase our overall bandwidth. All right, now that we've unleashed the awesome power of bonding, let's go ahead and go live. And we're live, there we go. Now that we've covered bonding, we would like to take a look at other options to use your Wi-Fi. There are two different ways to utilize your Wi-Fi on the video go. Currently, we're joined to an existing network with the video go via a home or office router that's providing access to the internet. A second option, if you're in a situation where you don't have stable Wi-Fi, for example, outdoors or at a concert, but you do have something like a tablet or a cell phone that uses cellular data, you can actually aggregate the cell signal of up to four of these devices using the ad hoc network generated by the video go. It sounds like a complicated process, but it's actually pretty simple. In order to do that, we'll need to change the Wi-Fi mode on the video go from client mode, which we're currently in, to access point mode, which will enable the video go to generate its own network. We'll start by going into settings, then select network, and then wireless and then we will take it out of client mode and put it in access point mode and hit apply. It's going to prompt us with a warning here that we're disconnecting from the existing Wi-Fi network. This is good, we'll hit apply. And now our video go is generating its own Wi-Fi network. Now that we've changed the video go to access point mode through the app, we're gonna reach for our cell phone and join the network that it's created. We'll select settings, Wi-Fi, and connect to the network generated by the video go. If you're unsure which network to connect to, you can always look on the front OLED display of your video go. We'll close out of that and go into the video app. We'll see the feed appear and select it. Then we'll go into settings, network, and mobile. We'll see at the top here, it says automatically use my mobile data connection, never 
always or ask. We'll select always and hit apply. We essentially just told our phone to allow the video go to use its data for streaming. We'll select home and we are done. One more point we wanted to bring up is that although it's probably not applicable in most situations, you can also use ethernet in this configuration to increase your signal strength. Now that you understand cellular bonding, you can add it to your arsenal and focus on creating great content without the worry of losing your video stream. Why gamble when you can be certain that you'll have a reliable signal that consistently delivers?